That's right, Eric Deanna, the sheriff's office announcing today that its investigation into the reported assault has wrapped and two juveniles, meaning student athletes under the age of 18, have been charged. The questions remain about exactly what happened to bring about those accusations and when. Friday Night Football Under the Lights is returning for Mechanicsville High School. After the Hanover Sheriff's Office wrapped its investigation into assault allegations on the team, two student athletes now charged with simple assault. If I fake a punch at you and make you think I'm going to hit you, that's assault. Battery is if I actually do hit you. As 8 News legal analyst Russ Stone explains, the two juvenile football players are not being named, both under the age of 18. The person does not always have to even go in front of a judge. They basically may have to go in, speak with juvenile probation office. They may have them do some community service or write a paper or, you know, things of that nature. This all stemming from an anonymous tip on August 19th of alleged assaults that happened at the high school. Principal Charles Stevens issuing this message to families and staff saying, quote, we will be working with Coach Reynolds, his coaching staff and players to establish team norms and will be holding various team building activities and trainings moving forward. A previous message saying, quote, serious allegations have been made and we have one chance to get this right. But with rumors swirling about the severity of what happened, questions remain about the nature of the assault that reportedly took place. Some of the rumors that we've been talking about are, frankly, if that was what the evidence was, those are felonies. Those are sometimes very serious felonies. Um, and so somebody who's 16 or 17 charged with something like that, they most certainly could go to circuit court and be treated as an adult. Luckily, it sounds like the evidence does not suggest that. Now, classes for Hanover students don't start until Tuesday, but in a note to families and staff today, Principal Stevens noted they are resuming football activities effective immediately. For now, the varsity team is still set to play Douglas Freeman next Friday. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jake with 8 News.